Hello. Did you know that there's now a European consensus on alopecia areata? I will make a short overview of the big document. Alopecia areata can be diagnosed on the basis of clinical evaluation and trichoscopy, and in doubtful cases, we can perform a histology evaluation of a biopsy. There is no unified list of tests that should be performed in a patient with alopecia areata. It will depend on the decision of the dermatologist on the basis of history and clinical examination. For the assessment of the severity of hair loss in alopecia areata, we recommend two methods Methods, the SALS score, which stands for the severity of alopecia tool, and the AAS, that stands for alopecia areata scale. And I've been talking about these methods in my other videos. A general indication for systemic treatment is SALT-20. However, because a large amount of data are available from studies in patients with SALT-50 to 100, some of the experts believe that maybe we should wait for the more severe form before we start systemic treatment. However, the majority of us agreed that we should rather start earlier because of the higher probability of regrowth. So as you see, there is a discussion that is ongoing to not undertreat the patient and not to overtreat the patient. We have developed an algorithm for the systemic treatment of alopecia areata. In acute alopecia areata of a short duration of approximately up to six months, the first-line therapy are glucocorticosteroids. However, there is no recommendation about which type of glucocorticosteroid it should be and what should be the dose. When needed, the treatment with steroids may be followed by an introduction of another systemic treatment, including JAK inhibitors. JAK inhibitors may be also an option for the non-acute, longer-lasting cases of alopecia areata as first-line therapy. Regarding JAK inhibitors, the two available treatments right now is baricitinib for the adult patients and rizlacitinib for patients aged 11 or more other treatment options, either in monotherapy or in combination with glucocorticosteroids, include cyclosporine and methotrexate. Azetropine may be also considered in some cases. Glucocorticosteroids may be added if needed. It is important to underline that the decision is always based on an in-depth evaluation and medical analysis in every individual case and also on the economic situation. Here is how you can find the article with the details. With this, I would like to thank you and please uh, take a look at my other videos if you like.